your hands that you're not going to hit and hurt your fingers. Um, oh, good. Ah, there you are again. Thank you, Max. Excellent. And uh, who else is here as well? Anne is here. Excellent. That's wonderful. Okay. Right. I'm sure there's more than just the two of you here. <laughs> All right. So what was I talking about? Yes. When you breathe in and when you breathe in, your tummy should expand and when you breathe out your tummy should deflate okay it relaxes so you do want to slow down your breathing so you're not just going <laughs> like a I don't know like a clapper but um, you, you, you slow down and you take the air right down into your tummy using your diaphragm to expand and then when you breathe out it just relaxes your stomach the other thing is when I say in, when I say breathe in, when I say breathe out, and you want to do something different, um, please do and not hold your breath. Okay, that's that's more important than doing the same breathing rhythm as I am. All right, okay. So as I said, I, mean, I am going to play with you a little bit. Um, I haven't I haven't done that before myself, so I don't know how it's going to pan out. To be honest with you, but we will have a little try. So I'm in my resting stance. Um, a few things you need to adjust. Not all of us need to be need to adjust them, but uh, I know I do, and I'm sure some of you will be the same as me. It's the, your lower back. So I need to actually give my lower back a slight tilt because I naturally my lower back curves inward. But if you don't need to, and you know your tailbone is sinking down to your natural heel then you don't need to make any adjustment. And when you do make any adjustment, I don't want you to make so much adjustment that you tighten up your hip flexors area. So they need to remain still nice and relaxed, okay, and open, basically. Right, okay, another thing that you need to adjust is further up your neck, okay? It's called a jade pillow. So the first few vertebrae um, in your neck so the best thing to do that is that you tuck your chin slightly underneath and you leave the, the, your tongue at the roof of your mouth. That's kind of just open up your jade pillow and, um, and so you're not um, crushing. And by doing that as well, you should feel a little bit of a sensation, a suspended sensation to the top of your head. So you're not just all going down because you do have to root your your body weight does have to go to your feet so make those adjustments another thing that i always say is that um, you need to know that you've got as if you've got i, I, I kind of like slide one up a uh, bold egg underneath your armpit so you're not sitting there standing there squeezing in okay so as if you've got a duck egg I like duck eggs because they're bigger so that it means you need it means you need to not shrink your but this expands your structure another thing is there now that you need to be already softening your knees okay. so you should feel like you're sitting down um, with a dish in your hands all right that rubber band effect okay the other thing is you do have to let go of those shoulders. It's always good sensation to have if you feel as if your shoulder blades has come forward a little bit because it helps you to sit back. Okay. Now I want you to come out into your horse stance or your parallel stance, um, making sure that your inside of your knee is lined up with your big toe. I always say make a conscious note how that feels so you don't have to keep looking down. To, to adjust okay so from here we're ready to go so I just want you to go out and sit back and sink into your open palms dropping your elbows and bring your hands closer together by squeezing your elbow the first thing I think about is dropping my shoulders and breathe out all the way down so don't hold it all the way down so you're sinking you're turning you're sitting right back and drop your elbows here 
feel that your elbows going forward, drop your shoulder first, then your elbows, then your wrist, then your hands, and your fingers all the way down, don't hold it. And again, so we're doing it four times. Sitting right back as far as you can go. Elbows. Always drop elbows and shoulders. And breathe out. Always sitting down also. Your knees are always soft. Sitting right back. You have to drop your elbows or they become too high and you'll be losing your shoulders again. And breathe out. This time, when you come up in your open form, I want you to relax one of your arms and move from your trunk. We've done this with you before, but I want you to focus on relaxing your shoulders. Move your trunk to bring your arm back. And breathe out. Open form. You can't do too many open forms. It lines the body up, sets you up. Again, drop your elbows on your knee. Feel the connection. So I'm just using my trunk to move at the moment. So feel the connection between your knees and your elbows. And breathe out all the time. You should feel as if your lower back going towards the back wall. Even now when you're just moving from your trunk, elbows connected to knee. When you're moving from your trunk, you can't move very far. Okay, I don't care what anybody else say, you can't. It's just physiology of your body. One more time. Again, I just need you to move from your trunk. When you focus on just sinking, just move from the trunk for now and breathe out and relax. We're moving up. Open form, still dropping my elbow. But this time I want you to start moving from your hip. So you're not just going to move your arms out to there using your trunk, but you're actually going to shift weight. So 50-50. Now shift weight 70. So you've got 70%, 30% now. And then you start pulling with that other foot to bring your arm back where it was before. I sink to bring this arm back up. And breathe out. So that's what's going on. So let's try that again. So an open form. I'm dropping my elbows. I'm just going to relax one of my arms. This is also dropped. It's sink, sitting, sinking into my head. And now I'm shifting weight. So 70% now. And you should find that you can now move a lot further out because you can move with your hip and breathe out. So I'm going to do two on each side back to back. Shifting weight. I haven't turned yet. Breathe out. Also, I hope you notice your movement doesn't come from your arms. Shifting weight. So 70%. You've got 30 here. And now start pulling with that foot. So now 50-50. So if I was going to continue, I would have to shift weight all the time. Thank you for that there. All right. Back to back. No talking. In. Out. In. Breathe out. So now I want you to turn. Hopefully you're already turning with your hands. You feel a turn from, a, from, your, from your hands because you're turning from your feet. But honestly, do not worry about those things. Open form. Right. 
And now we're going to shift weight first. 70. Now we start turning. Start turning with your hip. Now start turning with this hip to bring your arms back. And up. So that's your first turn for the day. Again, drop your elbows. Sorry, I'm already shifting weight. Well ahead of myself. Shifting weight. So now let's come back to this side, turning from this side. And breathe up. So let me just talk you through that again. Open form. Drop your elbows. Shift weight, 70%. But I haven't just shift weight, I'm turning also. And now I'm going to start turning from this side to bring my arm back. Extending, expanding, whatever you want. And breathe up. Again. Same. To the other side. Shifting weight. Shifting weight. 50-50. And out, one on each side. Open the form. Drop your elbows. I am breathing in. And I'm gonna breathe out now. Starting to rotate from this side. Breathe out. One last time to the other side. Open form. Sinking back, sitting back. Dropping my elbows, shifting weight, dropping my elbows, shifting weight, start turning, and breathe up. Okay, this is where I'm going to start playing with you. I don't know how that's going to work. Because this will also, you can test yourself whether you've got your weight distribution correct as well. So open form. So when you're shifting weight, if your weight is in this leg, it means you should be able to move this leg. Yeah? All right, so my arm was supposed to be just there, but I've forgotten doing that. Again, now, if I'm gonna turn with this arm, the weight's gonna be in this one. It means I should be able to move that leg. Breathe out. The weight is in this leg. It means I'm turning. So that means this foot should be, I could do whatever I want with that leg. What about going backward? So the weight's still in here. So all the time, the trick is, you should always be sitting on your chair. Okay, so you wouldn't be just up and down. You wouldn't come up, down. So you're always sitting. So you're rooted, but you can still move. Okay, so that was something that I wanted. So let's try that again. That was your first time. Open form. So I'm just turning, because the weight's in this leg, so I could move this leg. I mean, of course, I could even kick with that leg, couldn't I? So I could do whatever I want with that leg, because I'm rooted. I could walk. Oh, lost uh, my momentum. <laughs> I've changed up now. One more time. Breathe out. Going backward. Weight still in this leg. That means I could move this leg. But again, I want you to focus on not so much moving, is that you are able to still root in your leg. Yeah? still rooting I'm still rooting I'm still sitting down I'm still in my imaginary chair and I am moving one last time breathe in breathe up get everything back open form I want you to feel as if you're holding I give you that scenario before as if the floor behind you has fallen away. You, you're in, a, in a Indiana Jones and um, a trap just come up, 
missed you. Great big pillar shot up from the ground. The floor behind you has fallen away. You're going to fall backward. But this pillar was going to supposed to hit you and knock you back. But it missed you because you managed to sit back to miss you. Now you've got this pillar to hold on to. Or you're going to fall back. All right, so you've got this pillar to hold on to so that you can walk around it and get away. All right, so I want you to imagine that that's what your scenario is. So if you weren't sitting back, that pillar would have hit you, knocked you, and you fall backwards. So I want you to imagine that. That's what's going on. You're sitting back and you miss you. Now you've got the pillar to, to hold on to to get your balance back. And imagine that your arms are sinking, just resting, but it's quite a big pillar, so you can't just hold it like that because you will slip. You've got no grip, so you need to use your entire body, your own body, to wrap yourself around this pillar so that you don't fall back. Okay. But all the time, drop your shoulders and your elbows. As if your elbows are resting on your knees. Okay, I'm just going to let you rest a little bit. And we're going to carry on. So in your bowl, I want you to start shifting. You should feel like you're turning. So your bowl will turn with it. So you've got 50-50 weight distribution. You're shifting weight, so I've got 70% this side, but watch that, this elbow is still sinking down, and breathe out. So when you turn again, what do you do? You pull with the opposite foot, breathe out. So my weight on this side, I start thinking about that foot. When I start thinking about that foot turning inward, my knee turns, my hip turns, and my body turns and of course the energy ball that i'm holding in front of me also turns breathe out in let go of your shoulders breathe out you're still sitting in that position where your floor you don't have any floor behind you breathe out Now I want you to start stepping. So I've come up. This is a little bit more comfortable. I'm going to step out. Transferring my weight to my front leg. Return. So weight should, still, should back in this leg. So it means you should be able to still sit it and bring your leg back. I'm going to do exactly the same thing, slowly transferring the weight to my front leg, but I'm not doing that because that's no good. Everything's at the front. So I am still, so my weight is in here, but my mind's in my back foot. In, turn, sink, transfer weight, breathe out. Again, I'm not here. I'm here, but my weight is in my front leg. So you don't want to be there, then you haven't transferred weight. Because if you're there, then you're stuck. You can't move this leg or that leg. But if you transferred weight, you can move. In. Turn. Step. Breathe out. Transferred weight. Your weight is in the front leg. In. Still sitting, sink, turn, step, breathe out. Again, your weight is in the front leg, but your mind should be in the back leg. In, 
One on each side. Breathe out. And in. One more this side. Last one. So you sing your turn. You breathe out. Transferring way. This time, still want you to hold. Still in that scenario. Your arms are resting on the table. You're sitting in an imaginary chair. You're going to. I flatten my hands, I know. I'm just going to transfer my weight. But this time, I won't go to turn. Your, I'm going to ask you to turn. Start turning your hip. Transfer away to your back leg. Start turning this hip. Transfer away to my front leg. Start turning this hip. And so forth. So in. One more circle. In. And out. Same with the other side. Open form. Circle. Again, it's the same as when we um, did the walk of the stepping. So you don't go up and down. So you're always sitting in that chair. It's important that you transfer weight because if I transfer weight, then it frees me up to move. If I don't transfer weight, I can't move. Again, if I transfer weight, I can move. If I don't transfer weight, I can't move. But you don't bob up and down because you're not rooted. So if you bob up and down, so if I'm, I'm every time I'm going, to, I'm going to lift off, then you uprooted yourself. So you always stay seated. In and out. In. So I'm not moving my arms. My arms are circling because of me transferring weight and breathe out. Okay, so if we were, so we did play, and um, I'm going to do that again. Uh, just stepping a little bit, just uh, a little bit more stepping with you. Oops. Parallel stance. Open form. So if I just go back, so let's go back to this here. So if I'm circling here, it means I could step. If I continue to circle, if I if I'm gonna circle this way, my weight's back in my front leg, I could come back here, weight in my back leg, it means actually I can step this way. My weight still in the front leg because I'm going to transfer my weight to my front. But all the time, my I am rooted. I haven't come back up. I stay seated. So the level of my body is the same. So I circle. Weight still in my front leg. Still in my front leg. Slowly transfer weight back. Free. To move my other leg, I'm still seated. I'm still turning with my hip. So I'm not turning with my body. If I don't turn with my hip, that's all I could do. I'm actually sinking so that I could turn with my hip and breathe out. Same with the other side. I'm going to return so if my weight in my back leg then I could move my front it's still in my back leg so I'm free to go forward it's 
See my front leg? So I can actually bring this leg in. See my front leg? So it means I could go back. In this position, I could bring my other leg back if I want. But all the time, I'm sitting down. I'm sinking. See my hip. I'm rooting. See my feet. In. Again, because the weight's in here, so I could quite freely move my other leg. One more time. In. And out. Just put everything back. Drop your elbows. Squeezing your elbows. Drop your shoulders. One more time. Drop your elbows. So you're squeezing your elbows together. And breathe out. And drop everything back below in your standing form. I want you to actually stay here. Still in that seated position though, so you're not just standing upright. So if I turn this way, sitting back, sitting down, I'm not holding my arm, drop my elbows. Stay in this position for a little bit. Feel the, the physical weight still going down into your feet, just as I explained before. Feel the suspended feeling just on the top of your head, on your crown. Leave your tongue at the top of your mouth. Chin slightly tucked underneath. And breathe. Still sitting. Drop your shoulders. Drop your elbows as well. So the more you sit back, the more your arms can travel forward. So don't be tempted to hold your arms. Let them go. Just for a few more moments. This is good practice for your stance. Increase the strength in your legs. Feel your spine is still lengthening. Right. Bring everything back in. Okay, right. Um, thank you very, very much for that. Um, I hope you have enjoyed that, uh, especially with uh, moving your feet a little bit. Probably the first time I have done with you. Um, but just to show you the reason why I show you that is because, um, yeah, so you know where your weight. Uh, it's very important to know where your weight. Is so that uh, and also um, uh, maintain that seated at all times when you are actually transferring weight. Um, so when you're transferring weight, you don't have all the weight. Thank you. Um, on one side, also if you're transferring to your left, you don't have all your weight to your left side. You've got nothing in your right side because if you were in a combat situation, then I just need you to go boop and you'll be on the floor. So just um, bear that in mind. Okay, right, it is um, Wendy from Tai Chi, The Way of Life. So thank you for coming online and doing this Qigong with me. I shall see you again next week. Have a very, very good rest of the day, although it's a bit wet outside, uh, but up here anyway. And um, bye for now and God bless and I'll see you all next week. Thank you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Oh, hello.
I'd love to meet you guys again.